home is like a place where you want to come and rest and not always be living in fear. But sadly, that's the way life often is for Tanya Smith. Echoes of gunfire in the night and a near never-ending concern for the safety and welfare of her four-year-old cousin. It really does put a little bit of frightening in your heart, you know, when you know these little children, these are our future and they can't even play in their own yard. Like many housing developments in Atlanta, Carver Homes is racked by drug dealing and the violence that often accompanies it. But amid the rundown and boarded up apartments, you'll find homesteaders like Shirley Allen. She's lived here 16 years and takes pride and joy in tending her yard and plants. But the thick chain on her porch furniture is a reminder that trust is in short supply. I try to make where I am my home. I know it's not where you live, it's how. So we just have to make just where we at, our home, and just pray and ask God to protect us, you know, and that the things just don't happen to us. Marquita's shooting has touched many in this neighborhood, not just adults, but her friends and fellow students where she attends elementary school. Today, the principal called in counselors to help them talk it out. But our kids are very compassionate and they're very loving, and they are very much concerned about their classmates, and we are too. What do you think hearing about Marquita being shot? I think it's bad. Mm. For her being my friend, I pray for her every night.